And Interstate I-75 was at a standstill this morning near exit 49. Georgia State Patrol told Fox 31 that a tractor trailer and a tandem trailer were traveling northbound and crashed. One person is now injured. He was flown to Macon for treatment. We don't have an update on his condition tonight. GSP says he, had, he did have a fractured hip, though, possible broken bones, and some damage to his hand. Um, the, other, the other driver did have no injuries as a result of the accident. The middle and outside lanes of I-75 were closed, but the inside lane was left open. In Albany, police have been seeing more and more all-terrain vehicles on city streets. Lately, police say it's been happening in East Albany mostly and near Lockett Station in West Albany. Now, this raises some concerns because people aren't wearing safety gear and are speeding. The vehicles are not authorized to be on roadways, and police have received complaints from certain people. Use good common sense that I don't need to be operating these vehicles on these streets. Now, do we understand that uh, you do have to transport them to these locations, and we're asking people that they look for uh, better ways of transporting instead of riding on the city streets.